it would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Hello again, and welcome to another Super Villains Explored video. And today we're going to be talking about how one of the uh, one of the more interesting Marvel villains. Today we are going to be talking about the Radioactive Man. Yes, um, I am in fact going to be talking about one more Thor villain on this list. Radioactive Man first appeared in the 1960s and was created by both Stanley and Jack Kirby, one of the many, one of the hundreds of characters created by these two. Uh, Radioactive Man was originally a, 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 ver a brilliant a Chinese ra radiation scientist named Chen Lu. Chen Lu was, in fact, one of the most one of the most intelligent scientists who he was in fact the most intelligent scientist living in China as he was the the world's top expert on the effects of uh, radiation and uh, nuclear radiation and and whatnot and when uh, when Thor uh, whenever he uh, thwarted uh, China's attempt to invade India and try to spread their communist ways, China actually enlisted Dr. Chen Lu uh, in help so that he could help them uh, fight and destroy Thor. So, because he was so obsessed with spreading the ideas of communism from China, Chen Lu decided to expose himself to unbelievable amounts of radiation as he wanted to basically create, he wanted to t uh, test a new experiment he had, which means that it's basically an experiment he wanted to conduct where he could use the human body as literally a living uh, nuclear weapon. He, cre he created a device that would enable the human body to carry the, uh, enormous amounts of radiation and thus enable the human who carries all the radiation to become um, a sort of super soldier, to become an insanely uh, powerful metahuman force that could destroy just about anything. This happened to Dr. Liu, and thus he ended up calling himself the Radioactive Man. Uh, Chen Liu would begin to fight Thor, and in his first few encounters with the God of Thunder, Thor would defeat him every time. So he decided that it wasn't worth it and he went into hiding. Eventually, uh, Baron Heinrich Zemo would recruit Chen Lu into the Masters of Evil. And for a while, uh, Radioactive Man would become a very prominent member of the Masters of Evil, serving with three different incarnations of the Masters of Evil, the first being Baron Zemo's, the second being Ultron's, and the third... Uh, I'm not exactly sure who was the, who led the third, but all I know is that the third incarnation he he was in was sig single-handedly defeated by Hank Pym. So it was sort of a very pansy uh, group, I guess you could say. But I digress. Eventually, after uh, his second career in the Masters of Evil, uh, Doctor Chen Liu would seek to. Uh, just go somewhere else and quit being a supervillain. So he would uh, he would travel to Vietnam and he would join a uh, Crimson Dynamo and Titanium Man, 
and they would be called the Titanic Three. This was basically a group of uh, former uh, communist supervillains who completely rebelled against the communist, their former native communist governments. And so they decided to uh, help out Vietnam, who at the time was a very oppressed, very harsh communist, communist nation. So they decided that they would sort of punish any uh, crimes or injustices con committed against the Vietnamese people. And they, they became very successful vigilantes for a while. But then they sort of lost their motivation and they broke off from each other. Nowadays, Chen Lu is actually a member of the Thunderbolts. The res the yes, Chen Lu decided that he that uh, being evil just wasn't worth it, so he decided he would uh, join the Thunderbolts and try to do some good in his life. He had a very successful career on the Thunderbolts, but then he decided to return to his native China and tried, and so he believed that he could make more of a difference in his native homeland and try to protect the people who he believed was worth protecting. And that's pretty much uh, Radioactive Man's entire comic book history in a nutshell. Uh, overly simplified. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely a very, very, very uh, powerful villain. Uh, Chen Lu, his abilities are mostly radioactive uh, based. He can, uh, he has incredible super strength. He can lift uh, two tons, if I'm correct, and he can also uh, manipulate the radiation in his body and basically use it as a weapon, as a very, very, very lethal weapon in a very lethal dose. He can project incredibly strong force fields around himself, which are strong enough to even withstand a, a whole bunch of blows from Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, which is very... Let me tell you something. If, if you're strong enough that you can take a whole bunch of hits from Mjolnir, then that's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> uh, he can... Uh, he can fire extremely concentrated blasts ener and energy beams of radiation from his palms, which are strong enough to uh, completely disintegrate anything that they touch. And on top of that, he can actually manipulate the radiation in his body to the, uh, to the point of where it can infect an entire city block populated with people with, um, with minor... From minor burns to severe and completely fatal radiation poisoning. Right. Yeah, so um, that's basically Radioactive Man in a nutshell. Uh, there is currently a second Radioactive Man. I, uh, he's, act, he's not Chinese, he's a Russian. I believe his name is Igor Stragshov or something like that. I don't know. I don't really like that character. In my opinion, there's really only one cent one radioactive man character, and that is Dr. Chen Lu. Uh, he first started out as a Thor villain, and then he sort of branched off, and he became he became an Avengers villain, and then he was actually uh, hired by the Mandarin, and then for a, for a little for a short time, he became an Iron Man villain. And then he, and then, I finally remembered, the third incarnation of the Masters of Evil that he joined was actually formed by a villain named Egghead. And, of course, these Masters of Evil were absolutely pathetic, because they were only defeated by one Avenger. One Avenger alone, and that was Dr. Hank Pym. So, yeah. Uh, Chen Lu pretty much decided that being a villain just wasn't for him, so he decided to become a hero and join the Thunderbolts. Um, in conclusion, I love Radioactive Man. He's one of my absolute favorite uh, Marvel and Thor villains. And here's hoping that we might see him in a, a live-action Marvel movie at some point in the future. All right.
There's only a couple more characters on this little marathon, so keep watching and stay tuned.